How many people out there are fans of Squid Games on Netflix? I mean, remember one of the one of the games in that Red Light Green Light? How about playing Red Light Green Light on your Atari 2600? I know you may be thinking, "Oh God, there's, how can they do this? How can it? How can it you know, capture the essence of the episode? How can it capture the tenseness and all you know, all the emotions and everything?" Well, depending on how you know your point of view about Atari 2600 ports of things like Red Light Green Light, quite a bit. Grosser Games on YouTube here. They're the developer of this, and they uh, they've added two game modes to but what you honestly could say is a uh, a very faithful uh, interpretation on the 2600 for a, a show like Netflix's Squid Games. Now, if you remember, like, okay, you know, you may be thinking how they're capturing all the essence of the fear and all that stuff. Eh, that's up to you and how good, how good your imagination is. And if you look back at some of the other Atari 2600 movie and television, you know, games, they boil everything down to one essential point. A mini game or something that could make a mini game, like a part of the movie or like the overall idea like et there is a ton of stuff in et going on but what did the atari 2600 game focus on collecting innovating that's pretty much all you do star wars focused on two things like the battle on hoth and then the other star wars game i believe focused on the uh, tre basically the trench run on the uh, death star texas chainsaw massacre focused on you know you playing leatherface running around with your chainsaw i mean there's no meat hooks there's no hiding hidden doors there's no hammers to the head i mean that but they you, you know you still got the feel of the movie well if the movie followed leatherface but so they kind of took a little li liberty with that one even indiana jones and raiders of the lost ark you know they used a second controller to get more inputs but still they you know they took some liberties with the game and everything but they did their best you know, they they tried to advance what's going on and it didn't work out is what i'm trying to say games like et people say it's trash but if you, if you read the manual and play the game is actually fun it's not a bad game if you just pick it up and play no idea don't, don't read the manual yeah you're sol Anyhow, check out Red Light, Green Light by Grocer Games. I'll have links in the description below and everything. If you enjoy this kind of content, like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. It really does help. I'm in the efforts of trying to get this channel monetized so I can focus more on making more content like this. It, these things take time. And I appreciate any, anybody and everybody that takes the time to watch these videos and leave a comment or like, you know, whatever. Stay amazing. Keep being you.